the likelihood of actually witnessing a total solar eclipse in your lifetime is about 1 in 2000, so it's really no surprise that humans now flock to the path of totality just to see it. I've never seen an eclipse or anything like this before, so I figured I'd come out and uh, have a look, and it, uh, it's actually quite beautiful. For hundreds of years, eclipses have led scientists to discoveries about our universe, and there's still so much more to learn, both in space and at home. That's why a group of psychologists set out to study what people in the path of totality really feel. There's an aspect of, about eclipses that it, it's, it's so novel, so unexpected, um, and so sort of powerful, because you have multiple different components here, right? During the 20th 17 total solar eclipse, they turned to Twitter to gather data. Twitter users who were inside of the eclipse's path of totality, so where it went dark, compared to people who were outside the path of totality, expressed more awe, and they also expressed less self-focus and more pro-social affinity of humble and collective language. Awe is the feeling we get in the presence of something vast that challenges our understanding of the world. It's also the same emotion many people report while experiencing various types of weather. People can still feel awe from those types of things. Sunsets are, you know, kind of one of the quintessential things. And then how do you, what makes a sunset the most beautiful? We have people talking about uh, thunderstorms, even tornadoes. Uh, these types of things, they can be sort of scary too. They can still report feeling a change in their sense of self, and they can even report still feeling more uh, pro-social. Humans have a whole range of emotions that help us cope with day-to-day -day life. In a time that feels largely divided in humanity, we can count on nature and the universe to bring us back together. So look up and experience the awe that keeps us all connected here on Earth.